Friends, hello and welcome back. So we are talking conquest tips today. We are on the one of the featured quests at the moment, but we're gonna go and jump onto the world. Uh, I want to make sure I recall what it's called properly. The 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 nation of baseball one here in a second as well. Given some of our best tips as far as uh taking over these maps not having to go to the steel fan space we personally don't ever do it i don't like going to the steel fan space it's a bunch of games you have to play you don't have to you get to play you already have to conquer 30 strongholds so it's like it'd be great if we didn't have to do that but we'll start with the basics we'll start with the very 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 basics we will look at the nation of baseball one of the biggest tips is um always go for the empty spaces and look for the area with the least amount of resistance and the least amount of resistance right now it's on this particular map you can look around and see where the strongholds are obviously if you went to the right all these strongholds are here and uh these teams are just going to fill them all up they're going to fill all these hexagons up meanwhile you have well you could go down this way but you're probably not going to make it uh you'd have kansas city and colorado that could mess things up it'd work but meanwhile you have all this space up here above colorado before seattle where uh you can essentially take out this entire line you can have this entire line and you can just completely drag your team all the way over there. I like to personally go up a little bit this way, like I went close to the Twins, but you don't want to go right up against their stronghold because they will typically leave you alone, especially the Twins, because they don't have a, a lot of room to really grow and expand their uh, base there. And it's important because, see, we took those three extra hexagons again. Now the Twins can't have them. We can. We can take those three plus whatever we take this direction. love to try to do the exact same thing with Colorado where we'll come up here, put a little border on Colorado, and take it all the way across here as far as this is concerned. Again, and we'll stop right before we get close to about Seattle-ish here. Teams already attacking each other. See, the problem is, we'll bring it up in case you already knew the game. The reason you want to take the empty space is because you got teams like Chicago and Chicago battling each other for territories. And when you battle for territories, you lose fans sometimes. Uh, often, we should say. And this is completely uncontested. The more hexagons you fill up, the more territories that we have. We currently have 11 territories. We get one more we will have their family Santantard Santander sword. Uh, I, I can't Santander 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 Santander. I can't say his name. Uh, finally, he sold though. That was nice. We were just buying and selling some girls. Anyway, uh, you got to remember too. My territories. We have eleven. We get this one to be twelve. When we have twelve territories, we have four million extra fans. Every th uh, every three territories, you gain a million fans that you can reinforce with. So that's why it's so important. Because if we collect all of these. Uh, we're going to have so many more fans to work with in reinforcements compared to everybody else. Uh, that's tip number one. We're going back over here. Uh, tip number two, when you are in that situation where, you know, our map's a little bit clogged up here. We don't have a lot to work with as far as open spots. Besides this one right here, I don't know why we've left this open for so long. It was bothering me. I noticed it earlier in the re last reinforcement. The next thing is you want to look for the ones. Don't go after the twos. Again, you can go after the twos. The thing is we go after the Rockies too. Uh, it's 3v2 odds are they might take one they might take two compared to again the Rockies with a one-piecer gone see you later thanks for playing um a couple things too you do that and first of all obviously you take their territory you're more likely to take their territory so we lost that one and we have 79 territories we don't have quite enough to get that upgrade but you want to build up those territories you're going to get as many as you possibly can because it does make it easier when you challenge them uh coming up coming up next <laughs> our next thing now this we may have to reinforce to do this one but the next thing is is when things do start to get a little uh, frothy thing teams do start to get a little difficult uh try to take the path with the least amount of resistance i'm looking at the dodgers personally we've been leaving the dodgers go i'm gonna be completely honest i have i, I get i get a, i get a little excited about packs and i get impatient i'm like i want i want the quickest path to pack so i've been going up the right side to seattle because i want that seattle because you get the ball in as a habit pack i think it is i was like i gotta have that I, so we haven't touched the american or national league at all like we'll worry about it later yeah, big deal uh nonetheless though the dodgers are getting bigger and they are a base that say uh you don't want them to get too big before they start running all up on our business with their six millions and their ten millions Right now, that's the reason we left the um, other team's former, uh, was it that San Francisco? That was in San Francisco. Who was there? Who was there? Uh, Baltimore, maybe? maybe it was Baltimore. That's why we left their uh, territories there. A little bit of a wall between us so we can do our business with the rest of the map for now. But here's the thing that uh, you, you may not know is just like us, if a team comes around and puts one of our territories on an island, that being said, like if we was right here, we're the number one. If Colorado took that territory... We would not be able to use this territory right here. That goes for the same exact uh, 
principles and rules for the computer. And we bring that up because I'm looking at the seven. I'm looking at the four. I'm looking at a goal of starting here. We're going to run here. Uh, we actually might go with the two since we ain't got to go through two territories. But I want the territory, so we're probably not going to. We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll do it uh, against our better judgment. I wanted to go with Seattle. We're going to go ahead and show you the, the best route here. Because, yeah, they have these big uh, big strongholds like that, and it's tough. It's like, what are we going to do? Because it takes away your fans, obviously. You need more than $3 million to take them out. But here's the thing. You don't have to worry about them, at least not until you dang near conquer the map. Because our goal here is we're going to go here. We're going to run to this two. We're going to run to this two. And we're going to go straight to the one. Right in the front door. To the LA Dodgers. Now we're going to have to deal with their four right here. They'll probably fight us. Not a big deal. But what this does is it locks that seven in two ways. First of all, they can't do anything with that seven million because they have a fan base here. They have a fan base here. And they have a fan base here. So there's nothing they can do to move unless they move it during rounds. So it's locked there. We don't have to worry about them coming out and taking us over or something. It's kind of a waste putting it there. Uh, the second thing is, once we take over LA, obviously one, they lose their stronghold. But if things didn't go the greatest, you could go here. You could take here. You could take here. And you could take here. Or you could take here or here. Regardless, you would then put the four and a seven on an island where they can't do anything with them. So I love doing that as well. Again, we'll go ahead and we'll run it. We'll run it to give the example. This is not going to work if I had to guess. Unless we're feeling lucky today, we are not. Had to try it for a good time though. We'll go ahead and reinforce. I really, I really want to go ahead and take over Seattle. I'm telling you, it's right now it's a struggle, but we got to do what we got to do. Uh, we're up to 26 milli. I don't even want to use all that. We will. I really don't. We're not. We're, we're going to use like 24 because I, I have business to do with Seattle, I think. Yeah, we're just going to do this as an example. Can't I, I can't play one more game without getting that pack. It, it gets to be a grind. I need that, that instant gratification when we're playing this game. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, so we'll take it there. See, they, again, and they put, they put more fans in that corner for some reason. I don't know. I really don't know. And I just realized that the uh, Oakland Athletics just tried to take us, attack us with no stronghold. That is completely against the rules, and I guess the computer don't follow the rules but that should have been part of the rules but they can't indeed you know attack us if they're boxed in on their own so again the best thing we can possibly do here is don't get within one hexagon of their big territories if we don't have to because now we go straight up in that stronghold and we take them over we can play them on veteran not a big deal see you later dodgers after we take them over that's when we go up to the four we'd go up to the three we'd go up to the three probably go up to the seven and maybe ah, we probably actually now nah, we probably go four three two we go up to this one, this one, three, two, and go that direction. Again, take out past the least amount of resistance and stay away from the big territories because if they're boxed in, they can't do anything with them to attack you. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. As always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.